July 7, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day 499 of special Putin's operations. Big picture. War is hell. A low estimate of 500 men died for Putin yesterday, and an unknown number of Ukrainian men, women, and children were killed by Putin's actions. Violent combat continues across the front, with neither side making new notable gains in the last 24 hours. Ukraine continues to report a high rate of destruction of special equipment of the enemy, suggesting preparations for breakthroughs are gaining success. Dnieper Line. Kremlin air assets directed four guided bomb attacks in Kherson vicinity. At least 430 separate explosions were recorded on Kherson's right bank so far today, and shelling is ongoing. At least two civilians were killed, with more injured. Zaporizhia Front. Lines have remained almost stationary for the last week. The addition of Russian reserves to this front seven days ago has apparently worked to slow Ukraine's advances. Fighting on the plateau west of the Morky Yoli has shown an extension of the contested area, as the Kremlin is throwing troops into combat to stem Ukrainian advances. East Front, Donetsk. Once again the Eastern Front remains the location of the heaviest Kremlin attacks. Russian troops were stopped in the field south of Novomykhailivka. Attacks continued in Marienka, with Kremlin forces failing to take any ground. The Kremlin attacked Pervomaysk along the M04 outside Dontesk. Bakhmut area. Fighting at Kliskyivka continues, with the Kremlin making clear attempts to stall Ukrainian advances. Those failed, and Ukraine moved the combat line another half a mile in heavy fighting. Fighting was also reported immediately west of Bakhmut along the H-32. North of Bakhmut the Kremlin seeks to pinch a small land bridge Ukraine has made, outside of the village of Bakivka at a wetland. Shelling north of Soldar. Oskil border front. Only one notable ground attack by the Kremlin in the last 24 hours occurred at the last finger of a ridge that Ukraine is holding, three miles west of P-66 highway. However, heavy shelling around Dvorikna was reported for the first time in months. Northern border. At least seven different points were shelled multiple times over the last 24 hours, with no reports of casualties. A sizable contingent has been gathered in Belgrade, so it is unlikely that Russian Liberation Army will be able to make further headway in that Arblast. Black Sea. Outside of Mariupol, the Russian army appears to have murdered a young female, one they have claimed is their own, of age 12. The family is not speaking to reporters. Kremlin ships return to their ports, leaving one missile-capable submarine. Submarines may be able to move to a launch point without observation, making detection and intercept of missiles difficult. Ukraine world-related. The US has agreed to send cluster munitions, after a week of teasing. Sweden has again suggested that Kiev have discussions about purchasing or leasing the Gripen, as it was built specifically to fight against Russia. Czechia has agreed to send MI helicopters to Ukraine, will help train Ukraine's pilots on F-16, and will send 100,000 pieces of artillery and large gun ammunition. The Pentagon has signed off on another $800 million in arms to Ukraine, including support vehicles, parts, air defense missiles and weapons, javelins, Bradleys, strikers, demoning equipment, and 28 million rounds of ammunition. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.